வெல்கம் டு பெரு டெக் ஃபியூச்சர் விஷன் யூடியூப் சேனல் வெல்கம் டு பிரிட்ஜ் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் அப்ளிகேஷன் ஆஃப் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி இன் என்ஜினியரிங் டியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ ஹோப் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ ஸ்டே சேஃப் அட் ஹோம் டு ஸ்பெண்ட் த லாக்டவுன் ஹாலிடேஸ் இன் ஏ யூஸ்ஃபுல் மேனர் ஜேசிடி காலேஜ் ஆஃப் இன்ஜினியரிங் அண்ட் டெக்னாலஜி ஐ எக்ஸ்டெண்ட் அட் ஏ பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் டு கண்டக்ட் த பிரிட்ஜ் கோர்ஸ் ஆன் அப்ளிகேஷன் ஆஃப் mathematics and science in engineering in this manner yesterday dr murlidharan has given an overview about the application of mathematics today this session will be divided into two parts the first part i am dr perumal professor of petrochemical engineering will discuss about application of chemistry in engineering in the second part civil engineering professor dr kumar will throw some lights on physics tomorrow there will be a class on personality development so after completing this course you will be able to understand the various concept of engineering and you will be able to make use of the opportunities available in engineering to lift your careers okay let me start the session in your school days all of you have studied mass physics chemistry in which you have studied several number of theorems basic principles fundamental laws and some postulates application of these principles and concepts in your day to day life is termed as engineering application of science is called engineering in this class we will discuss about the application of chemistry in engineering what is chemistry chemistry is a branch of science it deals about matter we all know matter consists of atoms and molecules how these molecules and atoms are converted into one form to another form how the molecular structure placed into the picture what is the physical state of this matter what is the rate of reaction what is the properties of this matter how the elements and molecules are converted into another form what will be the energy level how the energy is transformed to one form to another form so everything deals about atoms and molecules that is matter is called chemistry in our day to day life all the materials we are used is made out of chemistry if you feel pain in your body it is chemistry if you face pandemic in the society it is chemistry simply saying straight from the life saving water to life threatening virus everything is chemistry therefore chemistry can be defined as a branch of science that involves the study of structure composition and properties of matter then what is the difference between chemistry and engineering chemistry versus engineering chemistry tells you a plus b gives c plus d here a and b are reactants c and d are products the reactant and products may be of any form it can be a solid it can be a liquid it can be a gas or it can be a combination of solid 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 liquid solid gas liquid 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 gas and gas gas the reaction may be of any type it may be a combustion reaction it may be a conversion reaction it may be a decomposition reaction it may be a single replacement or double replacement reaction whatever it may be the reaction reaction path how the product reactant is converted into product what are the mechanism involved in this reaction that is called chemistry but engineering is not like that in engineering we have to use this concept as the base and this scientific knowledge is coupled with societal needs and we have to create or design a new product 
then this new product is viable or not we have to analyze it therefore make use of the scientific knowledge you have to analyze the societal needs what is the societal needs you are making a product you have to think whether it is need for the society what is the basic what is the specific requirement of the customer you have to choose then you have to consider all the statutory and mandatory requirements you have to satisfy the environmental aspects safety measures economic aspects so everything includes engineering when you are designing a car or you are designing a engine for that car the science behind the engine is boyle's law and the combustion the reaction taking place inside the engine is combustion so the ic and you are designing an ic engine first before going to design the ic engine you have to identify the what is the necessity for this engine is it is really, really going to serve the society if it is what is the economy what is the production cost what is the operation cost what is the fuel efficiency how it is going to satisfy the emission standard how it is going to satisfy the motor vehicle act everything you have to consider after considering this constraints you have to analyze its viability if its project is viable you can go for the design so this all the <coughs> concepts societal needs analysis creation scientific knowledge it's called engineering next scientist versus engineer who is the scientist who is an engineer what is the difference between science scientist and engineer your scientist can tell that in what what is the state of matter whether the product reactant is in solid state or physical liquid state or gaseous state or the product is solid state or liquid state what is the state of matter a scientist can decide what is the type of reaction whether it is a decomposition reaction synthesis synthesis reaction combustion reaction the type of the reaction a scientist can decide decide what is the rate of reaction how fast the reaction will occur how to expedite the rate of the reaction how to slow down the rate of the reaction the scientist can decide the extent of reaction to what extent the reaction will occur how to shorten the reaction or how to prolong the reaction then the condition of reaction what is the operating temperature what is the operating pressure what is the concentration level of the reactant and product and what is the product specification how much will be the purity of the product how much will be the yield of the product and whether the reaction involves heat of reaction whether the reaction evolves heat or absorbs heat everything scientist can decide so scientist will decide the state of matter type of reaction rate of reaction extent of reaction condition of reaction product of specification heat of reaction so the scientist will give you the recipe but the engineer has to cook the recipe the engineer has to design the reactor the engineer has to design the vessel for the reaction the engineer has to design the instrument for controlling the reaction the engineer has to design the plan for producing the product the engineer has to execute the product the engineer has to operate the plan the engineer has to create cares about the social society engineer has to cares about the economic aspect safety aspects and other statutory and requirement factors so these are the engineers these are the difference between scientist and engineer the scientists are cares about the world but engineers makes the world the role of chemistry in various branches of engineering so chemistry is applicable in petrochemical engineering petroleum engineering food technology biotechnology and biochemical engineering these are the four branches engineering chemistry plays a vital role major role in these branches in addition to this chemistry find a place in civil engineering mechanical and automobile engineering electrical and electronics engineering electronics and communication engineering computer science and engineering computer science and business system if you are very much interested in chemistry you can study petrochemical engineering petroleum engineering food technology biotechnology and biochemical engineering you have a bright future but sir i i am very much interested in chemistry but i want to study civil engineering means you can study there is a opportunity for civil engineering 
there is an opportunity for mechanical engineering there is an opportunity for electrical and electrical engineering there is an opportunity for ece opportunity in cse opportunity in cse and business system now we will discuss what are the opportunities available in civil engineering for chemistry in civil engineering water plays the entire role so chemistry water is nothing but it is a chemistry composition of cements a civil engineer must know what is the sim what is cement what is the composition of cements what are the ingredients of cement he must know what is the difference between portland cement and porcelain cement why porcelainic materials are added in the cement what is the uh, cement which is used to used to construct bridges or pillars in the sea everything have the composition and production methods of cement must be known by the civil engineering and he should know the corrosion chemistry what are the anti corrosive agents we can use for construction and how much how long the anti corrosion material will withstand then paints and finishing of the building there are lot of lots and lot of paints available what are the different types of paints what is non flammable paints what is what is luminous flame how will you protect the building from environmental factor how will you protect the building from sunlight everything deals about chemistry then what are the waterproof chemicals available to protect the building from water leak water seepage then fire retardant chemicals polymer encapsulation pvc upvc silicon acrylics etc these all are the places chemistry will play a role in civil engineering and mechanical and automobile engineering mechanical and automobile engineering metal finishing and powder coating for to finish the metal to finish, if you make if you are making a car means it looks any attractive in finishing to give you a good finishing you should know about the paints and power coating ic engines is the major application of chemistry heat treatment electroplating material selection corrosion lubricating oil cutting oil tires rubbers and plastics and finally fuels these all are the place chemistry plays a role then electrical electronics and communication engineering the chemistry is applicable in electrical engineering in energy conservation if you want to make batteries and electrolytes you must know thorough knowledge about chemistry the insulation tapes wires and cables are made out of chemicals varnish transformer oil coolant oil semiconductors electronic chips transistor capacitors and the plastic accessories used in the electronics and electrical industries are made out of chemistry though these are the places where electrical and electronics communication engineering is coupled with chemistry then computer science and engineering so all the computers are made up of plastics and glassware so engineering plastics and glassware plays a major role software development if you want to write a software for a chemical product or a chemical project plant you should know about the fundamentals of the chemistry then electronic chips components of computers are made out of chemicals and the finishing and outlook is based upon the chemistry surface chemistry so these are the areas computer science and engineering can make use of the chemistry finally the computer science and business system to develop business application in chemical and allied field if you want to develop your business in a chemical and allied field you should know the basic fundamentals of the plant chemical plant for which you should know chemistry to develop a software pertaining to chemical and allied industry if you want to write the software for chemical program chemical plant the basis of chemistry is necessary strategy planning and marketing a chemical product food beverage pharma products etc for planning a strategy marketing strategy or a promotion strategy you should know the fundamentals of that chemical plant develop a model to storage and preservation of chemical food beverage pharma products etc and several other similar applications we can make use of this chemistry now we will discuss about the general uses of organic acids in fruits in our daily life we are eating lot of fruits this fruits contains organic acids the main organic acid contained in the fruit is carboxylic acid that is rcoh now we can see what are the application of carboxylic acid in food industry 
so the malic acid malic acid is majorly used in food industry it is an apple flavor it is to produce apple flavor tartaric acid the grapes contains tartaric acid and the citric acid is present in lemon and orange acetic acid present in vinegar if you want to make a artificial flavor means you have to use this salts this acids if you want to make apple acid means you can add malic acid if you want grape flavor means you can add tartaric acid if you want to make citric flavor means you can add citric acid then acetic acid for a, for vinegar you can add acetic